Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gymnasium Total Notary channel. And today I will show you a basic little tutorial about IQ. It took me kind of long time, but you can see we have onboard profiles here, and we have also profiles where we're running the IQ software. Uh, and basically, if you want to save profiles on the mouse itself, uh, you can do that all right. It's just that these profiles, they're, um, they're kind of necessary if you would uh, not connect your system to, if you would bring your mouse somewhere and you wouldn't bring, like you wouldn't have IQ installed or anything, you will just bring and plug in the mouse and use it, then you will have these onboard profiles. And they are set up in a little different way here. You can see we have the rain there and we have it's basic lighting effect like that, lightning effects like that. Uh, if you go to actions though, and of course the mouse is the more interesting part here because it has a lot of rebindable buttons. Um, what you can save onto these uh, onboard profiles are very limited. They are very limited indeed. So regularly I wouldn't even use them. Um, I don't move around my mouse, so I only use the onboard profiles because they are not limited in the same way. So just forget about these. Don't use them. It doesn't really help you. Any case, I have a lot of different profiles and these profiles have different actions. The difference between them are that I have set up the lighting effects different. So like this one, which is my browser, we have the just a static warm pink light just like that um, and uh, what's really useful about this is when we click here you can see link profile to program i use mozilla firefox and whenever i click or activate the mozilla firefox window when i just have it up it automatically switches to the profile and this is something i uh, highly suggest you do you basically make sure that um, the different profiles are linked to an exa file and you don't need to bother with switching between the profiles. Now, if you would want to switch between the profiles, well then you'll go to the mouse here, you click on actions and here we have the profile switching button. This is uh, rebindable. Here we have the DPI toggle button and uh, this one isn't really um, bindable. It switches between um, DPI. And uh, well, which is, which is nice. Um, so let's just go here. And I accidentally also binded it to, uh, to switching profiles, which isn't good at all. So we'll go to actions again. And you'll see I have the profile switching thing activated and it's on DPA toggle button. And since you can't use the DPA toggle button for us something else, I'll just remove that. So now I only toggle the DPI um, or I haven't found a way to basically uh, rebind it. Uh, and then here we have the profile switching. Here we can remove on, uh, and add the different profiles from the rotating list. So when you're in the profile, You'll need to add all the profiles to that list if you want to be able to switch to them. Otherwise, you can basically have a profile that's a dead end. Uh, you can do so that the profile is dead end. So when you switch to it, you can't switch to anything else by the button. I mean, it's it's not really useful. Just have them connect directly to exe files and your life will be a lot easier. Now, um, here we have my Battlefield 2 mode. And uh, of course, it's a beautiful <laughs> RGB light, just like that. Uh, we go to the mouse up here. We have actions. We go to actions right here. And uh, well, I have uh, rebounded some stuff here. So this one, I tried to make a three shot mood. It didn't work very well, but you can do a macro like this. If you just browse down this list and select macro, and you can just record your movements like that. You can try that out. Um, here on this one, well, I can demonstrate here because I noticed that this 
doesn't work very well, this button. So I'll just select this, I'll just click uh, remove it, and then I'll click record, stop recording. And uh, here you can see I can enable or disable uh, mouse click events too. So basically now I only had keyboard events. Um, yeah, exactly. However, I forgot to activate that one, delays. It didn't record a delay, so now it just clicks the 9 button instantly fast, which doesn't work. Because the uh, thing is, this is a button for releasing the parachute in Battlefield 2. It's a little bit laggy, so you have to spam it. So I just make a button that spams it for me. And there we go. Okay, there we don't go. Okay, now. Now we go. <laughs> so here we have it. Here we have the seconds like that, so I think that's fine. Anyways, we have different stuff here. Um, keypad delete. I have no idea why I have a macro for that, but apparently I do. The sniper button is a thing in Corsair where you get extra precision. I have that there. Like it's uh, it basically lowers the DPI so you can aim very carefully. Uh, and um, here we have B for like radio commands. We have M for the map. So I basically just rebound here. You can find them here. Remap. Number key tables, A to Z keys. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically just like that. I have the number keys here, which is default. It's to switch to weapons more quickly. So that's nice and all. Uh, any case, if you want to set up your uh, uh, lightning, you might want to, you know, also you can do like this, it's really useful. You see this crisis profile? I started to work on my space engineer's profile. What I did here was clicking this pro copy profile and it copies the entire profile so I can basically change it from there. So I don't have to redo everything if I have a similar game profile and I'll just need to bind this to another exe file and uh, customize it. Anyways, I already did that so we'll delete that and we'll jump straight into my space engineer's profile which I selected the uh, uh, the steam path to so it will act, act automatically just use when I use it so um, as I have showed you the basic setup of actions uh, or I should uh, show you a little bit more carefully here uh, so basically we, we, we will set up this because it's it's not as easy as you think setting these up uh, it's really um, hard time to work with this thing um, you have to, uh, yeah, we, we can probably do like this, I'm not sure, we'll just, we'll just delete a bunch of them, I don't really even know what, what these are for at this point. Um, so, the profile switch is the profile switch, and the profile switch just confuses me all the time, so I've started to just remove it, so I just go down in this menu and uh, on the profile switch I will instead select remap 8 to Z keys no I'll remap it to enhanced keys no um, if you're unsure just don't find it you can select keystroke and uh, I'll just have like one singer, I'll just have enter, you can just do it like that, like a shortcut. This is the chat button, so I'll just have it there for some weird reason. Uh, I just don't want to trigger <laughs> the profile change in game. Alright, so when we want to add new commands, um, you can see it's selected the macro when I just click plus like that. Uh, oh, here's the menu if you don't see copy or anything. Um, you'll just click macro, you'll just spawn a few more of them and of course I don't want that I want remap of enhanced keys yeah it's a little bit laggy and now I accidentally select the explorer again so you have to be careful that you don't accidentally change the profile there so we'll need to go back to space engineers because of course when I activate a window it will automatically go through this profile we click actions again and uh, We'll just make a remap of enhanced keys. The numbering of these doesn't really uh, matter. Uh, it's just confusing when they are in the wrong order. 
Uh, so, oops, no more keys and hands keys. There we go. Uh, so I'll just drag and drop them in a kind of order here. So I'll just get a little less confused. And uh, basically, this um, IQ isn't a very good software. It actively tries to combat your efforts to set it up. But it's basically a necessary evil because I wanted uh, I wanted the Corsair uh, keyboard and mouse I have now. So, you know, just have to deal with it. All right, so how to remap this? Well, you select this from the list. Don't try to click anything here because that will assign the button. Like, uh, when you try to click like that, uh, you, you can't just think you click on that button and then set it up. No, because Corsair decided they'll do it the other way around for some weird reason. So you do like this, select this in the map list here. Then we select what it will be. This will simulate the insert button on my keyboard because it's about switching blocks. And then we click what button it will be. So basically the other way around. This one will be the home key. Okay, now I set it up, select it on two. And you see I have this sorted. It doesn't matter that this is an assorted list. This is just one to infinity, uh, but it makes it easier for me. So I can't click like this button. Now we accidentally bound this uh, key two to that one. Messed up. Select it back. Go to this one. What will this be? Well, it will be a page up. Okay, so we basically need to go like that. Four will be delete. There. Come on. Five will be end. There. Six will be page, no, down, there. Fantastic. So now we have those mapped there. That's beautiful. So that's how to set them up, basically. If I haven't made it clear yet, IQ is an unpleasant software that's very hard to naturally use. It actively combats your <laughs> attempts to make it work for you. Uh, and uh, yeah, and if you're if you don't see the menu here, you need to click the mouse or the, the keyboard to get into the like menu where you have actions and stuff. Um, yeah, Ugh. it's it's a very it's a very weird program to work with, but it's a necessary evil as said. And you don't save anything; you just let them be. I think you can like back up stuff. Um, if I go to profiles here. I can export them, you see here. I can export this profile if I like to save it or something. Anyways, that will be all for me. I hope this helped you um, have a little less frustration with the um, unpleasant software that is the necessary evil of IQ. And I'll see you next time. This is Jim with SM Total Notary Channel, signing out.